Yo, 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 you already know what the fuck going on, man. It's Superstar Gucci. You're checking in with Word on the Street on the Film Culture. Like a crazy ass. Let me tell y'all, bitch, stop fucking trying me because I will knock y'all hoes the fuck out. Don't come over here with that stupid ass shit, okay? I will fuck your ass up on camera, bitch. Come meet me right here. Now this way, y'all, spread A U C Unity, ugly. Oh, man, Superstar Gucci. I'm here with the Film Culture. It's Word on the Street. So basically, I want you to tell me what's the craziest story that you ever have since you've been in college? Shit, well, I can't tell. <laughs> I right, can't on, tell. I can't tell no story about me, but I'm gonna tell y'all about my homie. My homie, <laughs> you know, yeah, I fucked this bitch, you know. All right. Made, you know, made her look goofy as hell, all type of yeah, shit. Made her look goofy, bro. That That's bitch, and, and this bitch from New Jersey, so she crazy. She slashed my homie ties and shit. <laughs> Hey, hey, she's laughing, all type of shit. All right, so I'm on B-Day. All right. You know, we had a party and shit, you know, swiping ace and shit, you know. So I'm getting fucked up, like, I'm drunk as hell, but I'm I, I, I'm aware, but I'm drunk as fuck. We finna get an Uber and shit, but I'm drunk as hell. We getting an Uber, bro, I'm cursing the Uber out. Um, she like, you can't get in. She like, you can't get in, you can't get in. I'm like, bitch, I'm good, like, just take me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, bitch, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Bitch, you tweaking. Like, tweaking with the Uber lady, bro. Like, let me tell, let me tell G. So, while we get into the second Uber, right? Second Uber, like, G, are y'all drunk? We know, G. We good. We straight. G, Derek and that bitch like this. Hold on. Like, oh, oh. Um, what are you doing, Derek? Derek, like, bro, I'm straight, bro. So, mind you, we get back to Morehouse, like, bro, we all done. Like, but Jamari, he like, bro, we got to get Derek in this bitch, bro. So, he like, all right, come on, bro, we gone. So, then Derek was like, bro, how I'm going to get there? We on, he on both our shoulders. Both of they say, they walking down. Yeah. I'm like, I'm drunk as hell, bro. bro. Crazy. Then, so, I was drunk as hell responding to bitches like in my phone and shit, but I was drunk as fuck, like fucking, like sloppy drunk. He, so he took, on some real shit, he took my phone and he was texting my bitches back, trying to, they was trying to slide and trying to fuck me and shit. So anyways, yeah, my thought process was, damn, am I really rolling down this hill right now? And I probably like let out a little chuckle, like what the fuck? <laughs> And then I got, I tried to get back up, but then I fell back down. <laughs> but then I fell back down, so, um, yeah, that's what happened. So I think that's why I was laughing. And then when I got into the bushes, I saw... Where the bushes come from? We, we, the hill, it goes down and then there's bushes. And we were hiding in the bushes. And we saw a nigga with a gun in his pants. And then I was like, okay. to do at that point. It was a funny situation when I think about it. Hey, though, so one day I was, I had a concert, I had a show. All right, you had a show, all right. And then it was my time to get on stage, all so right. as they introduced me, all right, bet. somebody had a gun in the crowd and shot when my song came on. Yeah, like, not, like not the DJ. Drum, no, like, it was a real gunshot. Yeah. So I'm like, I duck. So I thought I got assassinated and everybody just ran out the building. I'm yeah. like, damn, I didn't even get to perform. Like. That's crazy. I was so mad, but you feel me? I got out of there safe or whatever. Come to find out, it was a prank. I don't know yeah, who did it, but a prank? yeah, like that was just yeah. Pranking with gunshots. Yeah. Bell, so it was this one time I'm walking around Lennox, You already know, and in Lennox, you already know you're gonna see some fine women. But right. I see this one bad girl. She was bad. Bad. But ten. I, ten. Oh. But this is the thing, bro. I'm, I like that. I'm a young cat at the time. It was like a year ago, and All I was right, shy. About I was, a year ago. I was shy. <laughs> I was still young minded. Yeah. I was shy. So I'm walking around. I let her go. I ain't saying nothing to her. Right. I make my way up to the third floor of Lennox. Yeah. And I come out the store and I look down. And she on the first floor. I'm around my friends, so I'm joking and stuff. And they bet you like you bet they bet you wanna go talk to her? They bet me, but it's what Damn. I did. It's what I did. I'm being childish, act like I'm gonna throw my phone down at her. She on the first floor. Ooh. Tell me why my phone slipped out my hand. And hit the girl on the head on the first yeah. floor. I promise. I got the whole whole video of the phone. My phone cracked. Damn. So I got a story. Fresh, fresh out of uh say mill. I was start. I started. I started messing this girl named Dominique. Went to ETHS. <laughs> yeah, you hey. said ladies to it in schools. Damn, you bro. I ain't say like no fuck. Motherfucker, bro. Everything smooth. You know I'm playing football. Everything right, straight, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We fucking doing the thing or whatever, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I went to this a this a secret. Y'all seen it first. <laughs> this is this a secret. This a secret. I went to summer camp in Evanston. You know what I'm saying? Met this thick ass bitch named Ajane. You feel me? This is the most detailed story ever. Motherfuckers was 13. She was my first kiss, my first everything. When I went up to DePaul and this shit, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was. I ain't gonna lie, she started getting back in my ear, you know what I'm saying? And uh, then I basically got caught up. Dominique found out, egg my house, still let me crack the day she egg my house. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Just fellas, y'all, y'all be smooth, man. Ain't no, ain't none of that. You gonna get caught. Fuck you talking about. Um bro, Chess, so let me know what's going on, man. Man, so y'all know spring break 2018. You know, motherfuckers is in Miami, you know, bro. coming down to kick it, do what they do for, you feel me? Man, but that shit hit me in the face, man. I was fucking with this one shorty, bro. She fucked up my clothes, bro. Yeah, what she do to your clothes, bro? Man, baby oil, Neutrogena, and a, and a face mask, folks. Damn, what? Well, well, hold on, hold on. What, what do that do? What do that do to your clothes? Man, I had on the Fazos. You feel me? On the Fazos. On the G-Fazos? On the Fazos and White Billionaire Boys, folks. All right, wait, hold on. Tato say, what you do? What you do? What's the, what's the reaction? You know I wasn't, man, a reaction? I ain't gonna lie to that cue for camera, folks. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, but, but you got any, any other details about the story you want to talk about? Look, look. I ain't gonna lie, fellas. Y'all do what y'all want to do, because all I was doing was going to kick it with my homies, folks. Damn, it's shit. up my clothes, bro. Well, it happened a while ago. I had a falling out with one of my roommates, and this is the reason why you got to be careful with whom, about who you room with, because <laughs> instead of talking to me and asking me, hey, would you clean up behind yourself? Hey, you know, she decided she was going to snap a picture and send it to my phone. Damn. And uh, say, you know, WTF up under the picture. Very disrespectful. Very blatantly disrespectful. I apologized to her and we ended up having to fall out. She called me out of my name and called me dirty. And that's the reason why you got to be really careful about the people you befriend and also about the people you room with. Wow, that's a lot. That's a... That's a lot of the process right now. I mean, I'm I'm happy you didn't scrape her across the floor or anything like that, or you know. All right. I started dating this girl, right? She was fine. She's a ten cent. She's a dime. Anyway. Dime. Uh, dime piece. Okay. Dime piece. He's back. He's back. Anyway, He's back. I started dating her. We dated for nine months, and that's we. That's like a much as a child. Nigga. That's that's long as hell. Anyway, we got close, and we got close and intimate. We did the stuff that you're supposed to do when you date. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I told her that we we're gonna get married. You know, try to. Get in there, but anyway, uh, I had a friend that died, and I got really close with the girl that he was talking to, and then, then we got closer to death. Anyway, through that time, me and her got close, and my girlfriend got worried, but then I told her the girl not to worry about was the one I cheated on her with. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Go stupid. But he was a stalking ex that we broke up years ago. And then one day, this girl sent me a song. And I was like, what is this? And it was he his was song. Yes, and I was in the song. He was talking about my dog. He was talking about me and everything. Like, it was fucking, oop. it was crazy. Well, let me just, let me start off by saying, y'all, I am not a home wrecker. <laughs> but this story going. I'm not a home wrecker. OK, let me tell y'all. So it's this boy, right? We was cool, you know, we was chilling, you know, everything, you know, doing a do and all that. But it turns out he had a crazy ass ex. A crazy ex, right? She was doing. So listen, I was at his house one day. Tell me why we heard somebody knock on the door. <laughs> it's, it was that hoe. She came to the door. She came in there like, oh, this who you got in your house? <laughs> you had got new bitches in your house? I'm like, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because, girl. So, OK, this summer, I was almost finna not coming to Spelman, right? Yeah, why not? OK, so let me tell you. So me and my friend went to this pool party. Right. OK, turned up at the pool party. It was like 6 o'clock, and the pool party got shut down because it got too, like, uh, rowdy. Okay. So I was kind of turned. So I was like, everybody come to my house. So the whole party comes to my house. And what happened? So my, I told my mama that people was coming, but I didn't tell her how many people was coming. So she put us to my house. She was like, everybody get the fuck out. Everybody get the fuck out. Yeah, can, can I curse on yeah, here? You okay. She was like, shit, fuck, shit. Right, <laughs> she was like, he was like, everybody get the fuck out. Right. I get the fuck out of my house. And so the boys who was there, they wound up getting into a fight. 
Damn. And right, so everybody get, um, get into a fight. And so my mom came and shut the shit down. And so then when the niggas left, they came back and they started to like shoot up my house. And so like they shot my car, they shot my mama car. God, it was like, damn, it was like, yeah. Damn, it was like $10,000 worth of damages. And so mama, she was like, Tamaj, fuck that, you're not going to Spelman. Fuck that, you stand your ass right here in Houston, you're going to TSU, you're going to PV. I'm not seeing you to Spelman. I was crying. So basically, I went to the library and it was during midterms the first semester. And I met this guy, he'd asked me to watch his books, but then he went to the bathroom and he came back and we started talking. And it was like 24 hour library or whatever. So he came later on. And um, he asked me what I was doing after. We walked back to his dorm. We had sex. And then. <laughs> and then. <laughs> so it was like three. It was like three. Thank you. So after that, I went and I had a girlfriend at the time that lived in my dorm. And we like took showers together or whatever. So I took a shower with her. And <laughs> she pulled a card about me. Wait, wait, she never <laughs> Say that part. A little bit loud. <laughs> she pulled a condom out of me <laughs> in the shower <laughs> and um <laughs> and, yeah and, and the story in that what did she say what she do i like i somehow convinced her <laughs> that i didn't cheat on her but i mean uh, she I said that it was a condom from before her. <laughs> that was that. And she believed me. So, yeah. So, you think we got a decent amount of video? Yeah, I'm just getting B-roll now. I'm, sh I'm gonna try to put it out tomorrow, make it so recent. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I bet. Because what I. Like, 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 how long do you think I should, like, when you be getting B roll and shit, how long do you stand for B roll? <laughs> Oh, we just finished shooting like some word on the street type shit. Oh, okay. That's gonna be out tomorrow, so. 